So we're going to look at your underside. And again, we did this yesterday. I trimmed around his area here. He wasn't too bad. He's got some urine stains. But that'll go in my bucket over here for the dye pot. His toenails aren't too bad, but we'll still trim him up. And his belly, he's got just about two inches. Now this will be probably all for my hand spinning in, in my second tub. Because two months ago, I sheared his belly with many others that were destined to go to a big show next week but we're staying home we're quarantined so we're going to get naked and uh, grow some more lovely wool I've got a few mats here what I try to do is get all that brushed out some little bits stuff here. I just like to get it clean before I put it in my tubs. Then I have clean wool because they clean themselves pretty much. And as for a boy, he's really not bad. Yeah, they're not bad at all. So anyway, well, oh, I gotta sneeze. This is one place in the world that I can actually rub my nose. I cleaned my hands before I came out here. They won't be clean. So he's still small enough. I can use regular toenail clippers, or you can use dog clippers. Oh, hi, baby. Did that pinch him? He didn't get down to the. But no good. It's gonna be okay. And see, I've got him in a nice hold under my arm. Not too tight. Not too loose. Sorry, did that pinch you? He's a little squirmy. He's gonna be okay though. These young teenagers, they uh, don't like to sit still for very long for the most part. But so far, doing pretty good. And yesterday, I also blew him out. Got all the dander out. There was slight bedding towards his little butt and tail. So we got that out. I salvaged more of that to be prime. Got those toenails out of there. Are you ready? Here we go. 